So I've seen quite a bit of videos on the uh, new control settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, but uh, when it came to the specifics, no one uh, approached the subject. So I'm going to show you how to uh, program of the specifics. Uh, it's especially uh, for my use, it's for the controller I have, but it can be done many different ways uh, for hardware. And you can also set them up for the keyboard or whatever you want to. But my specific uh, controller uh, has buttons. Well, let me show you. Uh, let's go to airport and I'll show you what I'm talking about before I uh, show you how to set this particular specifics up uh, for the 172. Now, other aircraft uh, have specifics. You'll have to find them. Some of them are hard to find. Some of them are easy to find. It took me a while to, to find the particular ones I wanted. Now, they might have added them, you know, after a couple of updates. I, I really don't remember if they were there at the beginning or not. To be quite honest with you, I, I really didn't understand it. And I still don't understand some of it, so I'm still working on it as everybody else is. But uh, I finally figured it out. Uh, so I could use the, I don't know why ATC is talking to me. I have it turned on because I do career mode and I, I have to be able to listen. It's something about the secondary voices or something, but I don't know. Anyway, in the uh, Cessna 172, you have the uh, one thousandths altitude knob, and you have the one hundredth altitude knob, where you can just change it hundreds. So my particular hardware has a knob just like that without an inner knob, and I'll bring over my uh, Turtle Beach. Uh, flight deck app to show you my throttle. Okay, this is my uh, throttle. And of course, you can see the joystick down there too. But you can see right here that this very top, <coughs> excuse me, knob has the inner and an outer knob. Uh, the one below it is just rotates left and right. And the one at the bottom below that does left and right. Now all three of them have a push function too where you can uh, push them, push it in, the, the knob, either the big knob or the small knob, and uh, I do use that too on most of them, but that doesn't really have anything to do with this video. So if I turn, if you look down here, if I turn the inner knob to the right, B27, that's uh, increase altitude. B26 is decrease uh, uh, inner altitude. Uh, the big one is B25, increase by the thousands, and to the left is decrease by the thousands. So I can set mine up exactly like the uh, 172. And I'll show you how to do that now. So we'll go to the settings. We'll go to the controls. Unfortunately, it shows my hardware over on the right here, but unfortunately it, it doesn't. Like the top one is the joystick, the bottom one's the, the, the throttle, but for some reason, uh, 2024 doesn't distinguish the two. I just happen to know where they are. So I made a demo here so that I can uh, show you how to do this. And if I put a sign, you'll see that I don't have those uh, knobs set yet because I took them out. Well, actually, I duplicated uh, the one I usually use. So it's uh, MFD enter. Uh, I always forget. I have to go down here to none. And type it in again. 
MSD enter. Let's see. Oh, it's altitude. MFD altitude. There you go. And you'll see the tag specific here. Specific on the uh, de increase, the decrease, the outer knob, uh, decrease and increase. So the inner knob is the small knob on my uh, Turtle Beach throttle knob. And so that's the decrease. That's the increase. I'm turning the knobs to set them. Then I go to the outer knob. That's the decrease. So I want to go to the left. Yeah, and that's the outer knob increase. I don't want to go to the right. So it's, it was very confusing about uh, how to use the specifics or the videos I watched. Uh, nobody knew how to do it at the time. So we'll go back. We'll save it. We'll go back again into it. We'll go to the controls. We'll go here and it's uh, on the none and we'll go to the summons. And they should see there they are now. There's the inner knob uh, decrease. There's the inner knob increase. There's the outer knob decrease. And here's the outer knob increase. And you can see it's flight specific demo. So if I go back in to the aircraft, like I said, this is the thousands, this is the hundreds. So now I can use my knobs instead of actually using my mouse. See, there's the thousands. Increase, there's the thousands decrease. Here's the uh, hundreds increase, and here's the hundreds decrease. I can also see it when I have the uh, uh, app open on my second screen. I can see it uh, actually working in here, or show that it's, you know, there's the inner knob increase, there's the inner knob decrease, outer knob increase, Enter knob decrease. So that's set up, and there are other specifics that you can do, and it depends on the aircraft. But a lot of people were having a, a lot of difficulty with how to set up specifics. It'll depend on your hardware, what you want to set up, what specifics you can find. But uh, it's it's actually pretty slick knowing that I can use it. And then we'll show you again. See, here it is again. And here's the one I have set up that I usually use. That's just the demo one. I'll delete that one in a minute. Uh, that's the one. Here it is, flight deck specific throttle. And when I save that, well, let me go to the sign first. I also have the uh, decrease heading bug, increase heading bug, uh, vertical speed, up, vertical speed, down, uh, excuse me, vertical speed up, vertical speed down. And to get the vertical speed to uh, work, I push the knob down and then it puts it in vertical speed mode and I can turn it to the right and to the left. So it's really nice once you learn the specifics and you find them for the particular aircraft. Like I said, not everyone will have hardware that has an inner and outer knob, but you can assign it to your joystick or you can assign it to buttons and knobs or your keyboard. So I hope this helps a few people about the specifics uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024.